This is the fifth part in the reactive programming course in Dart and Flutter. In this video, I'll cover the two ways of error handling. You may remember from the part two that I showed you the on error method, but that method can apply only when you're using the listen method to consume your stream because the on error method is a member of the stream subscription class, which is returned by the listen method. But these methods are actually available directly in the stream class. So the first one we have over here is the handle error method. This is a pretty simple one. It just takes in a high order function and that function takes in a parameter that is going to be the error itself. And this method will execute every time we get an error. Over here, we're just printing the error and the error occurs in the get numbers error clone method that just throws an exception when i is equal to two. So let me go to the console and write main dot dart actually dart main dot dart and press enter and we get number one then we get number two and then we get an exception the exception is printed out because we get an error over here and then it's printed out obviously in the method you can do pretty much anything over here when you're using flutter you can display a pop-up box or whatever and you don't have to use the listen method, you can use the first method in order to get, actually the first property to get the, the first result emitted from a stream. Or you can use any of the methods that I showed you in the part 2, or no, part 3 of this course actually, I'm not sure. Okay, but you maybe sometimes want to know when a stream takes too long to emit any data. Well, that is what the timeout method is for. It takes in an object of type duration. The duration class is basically used to specify some kind of a time duration. And over here we say that the timeout is 3 seconds, but we can put actually anything in here. We can put, I don't know, hours, we can put milliseconds, let me actually, we can put in all sorts of stuff, days, microseconds, and all that kind of stuff. So let me just remove this and we have this get numbers timeout which will take three seconds between every data emission. So since we said that the timeout over here is three seconds, we should get thrown an error. So let me go to the console, run the app and we get number one. Then we're waiting for three seconds and we get a timeout exception. It says timeout exception after three seconds, no stream event. If we put the timeout to be more than the actual time that it takes to emit a result it should work out just fine so yeah we wait for three seconds to get the second one and another three seconds to get the third one and yeah that's pretty much it and as i said you can add all sorts of parameters here hours minutes that's why you do not put in milliseconds as you would maybe in some other libraries or languages but you just put in an instance of duration classes just kind of synthetic convenience. Alright, and that's pretty much it.